Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for uh, I uh, allowed to come here today. Um, I'm a farmer here in Denmark, and uh, as you can see here, uh, my hens are producing eggs. And on uh, behalf of IP, uh, I started using GMO-free soya in February this year. And um, I was very cautious about uh, only changing the soya. Everything else has to be the same. Otherwise, we couldn't see any result, of course. Um, just before we leave this picture, uh, I have three houses with hens in. And uh, this is the three kind of ages they are in. The photo left uh, on the top, they are only 27 weeks, nearly new. The one top right is uh, 51 weeks. And the one down there, 68 weeks old. Only three weeks in normal, when the, it has to be killed. Um, and then we go further on. Um, this here, in three days' time after changing to non-GMO soya, uh, my dad said to me, there is something very different with the eggs. The eggs was, the shell was very, it uh, was uh, more nice to look at and more strong. Um, and as you can see, we reduced the number of eggs rejected due to shell deformity. And uh, my dad told me before I started with this soya, I was crazy just to try it because it cost 42 crowners more per 100 kilo. Why the expense? But after three days, he changed his mind. <laughs> uh, water consumption dropped from 1.7 to 1.5 liters per kilo food. That's another indication of the well-being of the hens. Diarrhea disappeared. And uh, that could be a very bad thing in egg production. <laughs> because <laughs> uh, it, uh, the, the eggs are getting very dirty. And uh, as you can see on the graph over here at the left, the egg production increased. Um, I only have, you can see down uh, in the bottom, it's the weeks, the hens, uh, the ages of the hens and the percent of uh, laying on the left. I stopped at 81 weeks because uh, about 25 weeks before I want to change the hens, I have to order a new lot. These hens at 81 weeks, they should never been out. Eight to 10 weeks more, easily. Normally, they are out at 72 to 73 weeks old. And uh, my floor and the nests are very dry after the diarrhea. <laughs> uh, and dirty eggs, you see here, the basket here in the bottom, that's dirty eggs from 9,000 eggs, hens per day. In a normal farm, they had the same amount of baskets with 100 eggs in each. That's the difference. Um, and as I said before, the life ex uh, production life, you can get much longer. And uh, as you saw on the pictures here, uh, you have a full plummet on the hands. Uh, a lot of my, um, uh, uh, the other farmers with the hens production, uh, when they are about 50 to 60 weeks, they hardly have any feathers left. It's not normally just to GMO soya, because I make the food myself, but <coughs> that they keep on living a longer time in the house, I can see that mostly of that is from the GMO soya. Um, and uh, it's uh, much easier to go inside with the hens now 
the stress level just down. You can do things you can't di did for about a year ago. Yeah. If he take photos in there with a blitz on, and uh, well, they blink die, and then kept on going. If I did that in normal house, it would have cost several hundred he dead hens because they've been going into the other end and in a big lump and dead. Um, and today, I can't afford to feed uh, GMO soya to my hens because in the start I used 22% of GMO soya. Today I only use 18 because it's a much better quality. So that's it. Thank you. And many